As a facilitator, one of the things you're going to have to do in terms of managing the course is grade some of the assignments. Easy way to do that would be to look for the grades button. In this instance of Moodle, it's on the left hand side. And now we can see um, all the various components that make up this particular course. In this case, I'm going to have a look at the very first assignment here. Give me a summary of what's available. I've got 61 people in this course and it was a group assignment. They have offered up 36 group project submissions. So that looks good. So you can um, uh, say, let's have a view of all the submissions. And now we can just see who has submitted and when. All right. Um, you can also organize them according to status. You'll see if we scroll down far enough that there are some people who have not submitted. So we can see that, for example. Um, but generally, we're looking for submitted for grading. These are the ones that are waiting for a mark. We can also have a look when it was submitted and we can see what was submitted. So in this case, we can see there are a whole load of PowerPoint presentations. So when you're ready to get going, you can click on the grade button. The screen now gives you your marking interface. And uh, the idea is the first person I've called up, I can now page through their PowerPoint using these navigation buttons here. Show me the second slide, show me the third slide, show me the fourth slide, and so on. If for some reason I decide that this person uh, is not the one that I want to start with, I can also change my users up the top right hand corner here. I can say, show me the second submission, show me the third submission, uh, and so on until I'm ready to start. You don't have to start at the beginning. You can start anywhere. Um, but if you want to move in sequence, then you can use that little item at the top. Or you can look for them in the list here. So this is a drop down. Gives me an indication of who has submitted and I can jump around if I want. All right. So what can I do? I can have a look at the the uh, PowerPoint and then when I'm ready, I can then allocate it a mark. In this case, it's already been determined. It's supposed to be out of out of 100. Ideally, you should have your marking rubric so that you can see how to allocate points uniformly. Um, but very important, it would be good idea as a facilitator to provide some type of feedback. Use it as a formative uh, uh, assessment uh, uh, as well. Allow the students to learn from what they've done. My comment is a bit ob. I'm assuming this was a good one, but ideally you want to unpack what's the strengths and weaknesses of the particular submission. And then when you're ready, you can just push save and show the next. Notice there's also a little button down here for notify the students. If you leave that tick on, it'll send an email to the participant telling them that their assignment has been graded and they can come in and have a look. All right, I'm gonna take that off because this is just a demonstration. Then I want you to click on save and show next. If we were to go back now, then you'll see that the marks are beginning to form in that grading table that we started off with.